Hi, my name's Sonia and this is my channel, See It Then, See It Now. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who watched my last video. Thank you for those of you who subscribed and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. The last project was a really really big one and I'm so proud of it so if you didn't see that then please do go check that out. For today's video I've been rummaging in the recycling again and I've picked a few small items that I think could be made wonderful and be made into something so much more than just popping them in the recycle bin. So let's get into what I did with them. I think the supervisor received a Christmas gift in this box and it was no longer needed so I'm just going to use one half of it for this project. The problem was that the base was too flimsy and I needed to make it a lot more sturdy so the first thing I did was cut two pieces of cardboard, one to go on the inside of this tray and one to go on the outside of the tray. To separate the two parts I first tried riving and yanking at it and when that didn't work I applied some common sense and I used a knife just to bend the pieces of metal back so that the two parts just came away nice and easily. I was left with these two pieces of metal sticking out so I just bent them and got them as flat as possible using a pair of pliers. I then used some wood glue to glue the two pieces of card in place, one to the inside of the tray and one to the underneath of the tray. I'm not sure why I chose to use wood glue for this. I should imagine PVA would work as well, so I'm not quite sure what my thought process were and why I chose wood glue. But it worked. I clamped it all together and then left it to dry. This little glass bowl is from IKEA and I'm going to use this for the base of the tray. So I started by giving it a coat of Johnson's furniture paint in cushion white. And you can see there some of the other items that I'm recycling. You'll see more of them later on in the video. I'm going to decoupage this tray. So once the glue was dry and my cardboard was nice and secure, I started off by painting the inside in the same white paint. I wanted to put a trim around the edge of this tray because I didn't want it to just look like a tin tray that had been painted so I started playing around with some clay moulds. I really liked this little bow and flower um, but I decided it was sticking up over the edge too much so I opted for a smaller design. Once the clay was dry I mixed up some blue and white acrylic paint and I painted all around the sides of the tray once that was dry, I painted the clay with Perugian blue and I then went over it with some silver. A bit of touching up and the sides were looking good. I love this pattern, I think it is so, so pretty. It's, it, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So this was what I decided was going to go on the inside of the tray but at first thing I needed to do before I, put, before I got this stuck in place was I still needed to address those two little holes where I had where the hinges were. On the outside I'd covered it with the clay but on the inside you could just still see where they were so I just filled them in with a bit of filler and smoothed it down and then once that was dry and I decoupaged over the top you couldn't see the hinges at all it covered it up perfectly fine. I then decoupaged the inside of the tray if you've seen my other videos you've seen me do this lots before I use decoupage often in my crafts I think it's a really fab way of transforming a project you can make something that's quite plain look so pretty using decoupage and it's especially good if you're wanting to get that shabby chic look and if you just take a little peek at the bottom of the screen you can see my little white bowl there that I've already decoupaged I don't know where the footage went for that but it's there and I've already decoupaged it 
Once I had this part decoupaged, I also turned the tray over and decoupaged the underneath side of the tray. If you are interested in a more detailed video on how to decoupage, I will leave a link in the description box. Once everything was dry and I'd sealed it with a coat of varnish, I found centre on the bottom of the tray and glued the bowl in place using E6000. And if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I always make a complete hash and a real meal out of trying to put things in the centre and finding the middle and measuring things up. I am the worst and this was no exception. I messed about with this bowl for a while trying to find out where I needed to glue it but we got there in the end. And that's it for this one, moving on to the next one. This is a goo pudding jar and the first thing I did was paint it white. I say that but the first thing I did was clean it and make sure it was free from dirt or grease. Actually the first thing I did was eat the pudding and very yummy it was too. Shout out if you have a stash of these in your cupboards because they're just a little bit too nice to throw away but you're not quite sure what you're going to do with them. In previous decoupage videos when I've separated the plies and said that I keep the plain ones because they come in for other projects, this is one of those projects. I stamped this writing onto the plain napkin and then used it to decoupage the outside of the pot. Once the decoupaging was dry and I'd sealed it all, I then used some hot glue and glued on some pretty embellishments. I glued on some lace and some pretty little flowers. I loved how the outside was looking but I didn't like the inside and with hindsight I probably would have been better to decoupage the inside of the pot as well. Because the pot was glass you could see through the glass on the inside and it just didn't look very good um, but I got around it by gluing some lace around the inside edge of the pot as well and it just covered it up um, and then I glued some little nice little pearls around the top just just to finish it off and it does look really really pretty um, but I might have been better off decoupaging it maybe I'm not sure um, but I'm really pleased with how it ended up anyway and that was it for this one, a nice quick easy one. Um, I'm going to use it to put cotton pads in. On to the next item now and this was a bottle of body lotion. So I removed the label, gave the bottle a good clean and once it was dry I gave it a coat of the Johnson's Chalky Furniture Paint in Cushion White. While it was drying I jumped onto Canva and I created this little label that says hand lotion. I cut it out and glued it on. My initial plan was to put some lace around the top that was really long and that's why I positioned the label so far down the bottle. As it turned out I ended up going down a different route anyway. I'm really pleased with how it turned out so it wasn't an issue. I'm going to place a little clay frame around the label uh, just to give it a nice finish and so I measured where the clay frame would come to just so that I could mark where I needed to decoupage to um, and work out where I wanted to place the pieces of napkin. And then it was just a case of decoupaging the rest of the bottle using another pretty napkin. I bought these little frame moulds off of Amazon and I will put a link in the description box they're so cute, I love how this turned out, this little frame, I'm really really pleased with it. And of course you've seen me do this before, you just squidge the, the clay in, get the top nice and flat and then just gently ease it out of the mould. And of course I needed to get this attached to the bottle before the clay dried because I needed it to mould around the curve of the bottle. So I just popped on some wood glue and then positioned it in place while the clay was still wet. Once the clay frame was dry I painted the whole frame with some silver gilding wax and I loved the way that this looked. I thought it 
looked really pretty and I just love this little silver frame I just thought it was super cute now for the finishing touches, I hot glued some lace around the top of the bottle. This is shorter lace than what I had originally intended using, but was still very pretty. And I then popped on some flat back pearls, some blue flat back pearls, just to add a little bit of extra prettiness. I glued the same lace around the bottom and added the little flat back pearls to the bottom as well and that was this one completed. Now we're on to this perfume bottle and this has still got perfume in so this is a little bit of a cheat because I didn't, it didn't come out of the recycle bin. Um, but these upcycles are going into the guest bedroom and are going to be for my guests to use so I didn't want the bottle to be empty. Um, and this one's a really nice one and I've got more than one bottle of it so I thought I would give one of them up and let my guests use it. What I should say is it's for future guests to use it. If you've been following my progress on the guest bedroom then you'll know it's nowhere near ready for guests yet. And this was a really easy one. I feel like I'm cheating on saying that this was a craft but I basically just hot glued some pretty things to an already pretty bottle and made it look even prettier than it did already. <laughs> this is my favourite lace. I think it is so beautiful and it's from Abacans and it really is my favourite one. Some more of the flat back pearls, the blue ones, I used some more of those and then I stuck some silk flowers around the top and I just used some that were left over from other projects that were just in my stash. Now for this spice jar, and I didn't want this lid to have a flat opener, so I glued it closed with some E6000. I then painted it white, and once that was dry, I decoupaged it in the same stamped napkin that I used on the goo pot. This is going to be to store cotton buds and if I'd covered the glass completely then I would have needed to put a label on it. So I decided to keep the glass clear and just pop some lace round like I had with the other items. Um, that way you can see that the cotton buds are inside. Just to keep this cohesive and along the same lines as the other items, I am after all grouping all these together on the tray, so I do want them to match to a degree. I glued some lace around the centre and added some more of the little blue pearls and some more flowers just around the centre. I had the bottle looking really pretty but the lid was just too plain and they didn't look right together. So I added some lace to the sides of the lid and popped a flower on the top and this made it look so much better. And that was it for this one. Another one finished. On to the last item now, and this is a lemonade bottle that I brought back from Croatia. A big shout out to Kerry if you're watching this. She kindly carried it around Pula in 40 degree heat because I had one of my, ooh, I could do something with that moments. So I removed the label, cleaned it and gave it a coat of, yes, you've guessed it, cushion white chalky furniture paint. I also painted this candle holder, which I wanted to use to give the bottle some extra height. Now what I did next with this bottle I'm not showing you and that's because I had a complete change of heart with this one. So I was really not happy with this. It wasn't jelly on me, it broke. Um, I just, there was just something about it that I didn't like the way that it was looking all shiny. I didn't, I wasn't liking the blue. I do quite like this but then I think, hmm. So 
I decided to start from scratch and paint it white again. So I've sanded it down and I'm now just going to pop, get it back to white. Remember this from earlier in the video? Well, this is what I'm going to use on the bottle. I glued the bottle to the candle holder using E6000 and then I decoupaged the whole thing using the stamped napkins. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm crafting with clay and I have a tiny little bit of clay left over at the end of a project, I'll just make some of these flowers uh, just to use that last bit of clay up. So I have all these already made. So I thought I might see if I could actually just use some of these up. I just started sticking them on. I didn't have any set thing in mind when I started. It was just a bit like putting a jigsaw puzzle together because I needed the flowers to fit next to each other and to fit with the curves of the glass and I just went with it and I love what I ended up with. The only thing that drove me a little bit mad was keeping that bottle still. It just kept wanting to roll, but other than that, I actually really enjoyed putting these on. I just, I don't know, I just found it really relaxing and fun. And yeah, and I'm just so pleased with the end result. Once I'd finished sticking on the flowers, I went over each of them with some silver gilding wax and this just finished them off beautifully. And that was it for this one. I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it is so pretty. So, so pretty. So let's have a reminder and see it then. And let's see it now.
I absolutely love how this one turned out. I love the fact that I saved these items from the recycle bin, that they now look pretty and that they have a practical use as well. But I'd love to know what you think, so do leave me a comment, hit that like button, and if you're not already subscribed, then do please consider subscribing. Um, it helps my channel to grow and I do appreciate each and every one of you, so thank you. My next project is going to be another piece of furniture for the guest bedroom and it's looking amazing. I can't wait to share that one with you so do make sure that you tune in for that. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and I really need to go finish this project so I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to leave it, with, leave it at that and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.